Hey guys, this is Mohammad Shamir, and in this video tutorial, I am gonna teach you how you can make dynamic panels using Java. So stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. So it is a really easy tutorial if you want to professionalize your project. For example, while you are using Facebook, Twitter or other social networking apps, you does not see these apps are opening multiple windows on button clicks. So for that we use dynamic panels and how can we use it? Let's do it. So I am making a new project for it. Um, new project. Java applications. Next. Uh, I will give it dynamic panel form okay then finish it now go to source packages right click on source packages now go to jframe form not J java class go to jframe form click on it give your form name I will give it dynamic panel form Okay, so now finish it. So now here you can see <coughs> your form. Now on the right hand side you can see palette here. Click on palette and click on panel. Drag a panel from here. I will paste it here. It's stretch it give <coughs> your panel name whatever you like I will give it dynamic panel dynamic panel okay so this is the name of my panel the variable name of my panel okay I will also add two buttons you can also grab the two buttons from the palette click on palette from the swing controls you can add buttons I need two buttons button 1 and button 2 now change their name I will give first button name panel 1 and second button I will give panel 2 ok so now we will make two panels go back to projects click on default packages right click and now don't click on j frame form go to j panel form give this one panel panel 1 ok finish it now here is your panel 1 panel make another panel do the same for it this one two I will give it name panel two finish it okay so now you have made two panels and a form now I am going to my panel one this is my panel one I click click on your panel one so here is my panel 1. Right click on my panel 1. Going to properties. Changing the color of my panel. I will give it any color I like. I am giving it this color. Okay. So this is my panel 1. And now this is my panel 2. I am also coloring it. Properties. Panel. Any color I would like. I will like green. So now it is of green color. So this, these are my two panels. Panel 1 and panel 2. Now I want my panel 1 and panel 2 on this dynamic panel when I press this button I want panel 1 here and when I press this button I want panel 2 here. Now we have to code a little uh, go to source of the form this is the source I know I, I hope you can clearly see it Now here in the source of the dynamic panel form that we made 
we will <coughs> made an object of grid back layout we will use this layout so we are calling an object of it <coughs> layout okay so we have made an object of grid bag layout <coughs> it is given an error add import click on the add import click on the first option and the error will be resolved now I am declaring p1 panel 1 type variable p1 panel one type variable p1 is giving error because p is capital okay and i am declare an, another variable of panel type panel 2 type p2 okay so we have declared two variables p1 and p2 now we will make uh, objects of p1 and p2 inside our constructor which is made already made uh, in, then we create a form okay p1 equal to new panel 1 this is the first object and p2 equal to new panel 2 this is our second object now I will set my layout dynamic panel this is my dynamic panel which is used on the form this is this is our dynamic panel here so dot set layout it is already given layout because here we have uh, declared an object of layout named as layout of grid back layout class now we will call an other class grid back constraints and we will make an object of from this class see equal to new grid back back constraints okay it is also giving an error click on the error and add import this uh, click on the first option and the error will be resolved okay so now we have to give its grid x and y so this is our object c dot grid x equal to 0 we have to initialize our grids x and y c dot grid y equal to 0 after that white dynamic panel dot add and between it first face the p1 object and then c okay now we will do same for the p2 we can easily copy paste it control c copy this line as well control c but, but change it to p2 okay change it to p2 now we need to code a little functions uh, besides our buttons so I am clicking on the panel 1 button and this here we will code for button 1 so p1 dot set visible true 
and p2 dot set visible false to false okay so why i had done this because i whenever i press button first button of panel 1 i want panel 1 to display here so here i here you can see i have set visible p1 to true whenever i click button 1 and p2 to false whenever i click button 1 so this will display panel 1 when i click button 1 and uh, disappears sorry and hides panel 2 when i click button 1 panel 1 okay now we will code for button 2 here we will code for button 2 you can copy and paste from the button 1 but make sure to make the first statement false and the second statement true because we want to vis visible p panel 2 when we press button 2 okay this is why we set p1 to false set visible to false and p2 to true it will display panel 1 and hide panel 2 when we press button 2 okay uh, now I can also copy this code control C and paste it in the constructor here and set both to false because when I load my program I don't want any of the panel to be appeared to be set visible so I have set uh, visible to false both the panels so now our work is done let's check is it working or not now I am compiling it first clean and built it then right click on it and run file now you can see a window here but before this please do me a favor cross it ok go to design and stretch it a little bit ok now clean and build go to source right click on it and run file now you can see here a window with two buttons now I am gonna press button 1 and here you can see this is the panel 1 appeared now I will click panel 2 now here you can see the panel 2 appeared so you can see that panel 1 is not affecting panel 2 and the panel 2 is not affecting the panel 1 so you guys can make more professional apps by using these dynamic panels so I hope you guys understand it if you like the video like comment subscribe and share thank you so much and take care